This is Mike from Blood of the Wolf, and today I'm going to tell you why I will no longer be supporting Dragonfire pickups. Okay, so the whole story started back... A while back I bought a set of power rails from Dragonfire. They are the DeMarzio X2N look-alike pickups. Uh, I bought them off of eBay. It was a bridge and neck pair. Um, I returned the bridge and kept the neck. The bridge pickup I didn't think sounded nearly as good as the is the X2N, but the neck pickup I think sounded really good and it, it matched close enough. After I returned the bridge though, I noticed I got blocked from buying stuff from Dragonfire off of eBay, which I thought was weird. Their, their policy, by the way, on eBay is 30-day returns, and I think the buyer has to pay return shipping. So, pretty standard, not a big deal. Um, anyway, I noticed I got blocked from buying off of their eBay store, um, but I really didn't care too much because, and I didn't look into it, because you can buy directly off of their website, and it's actually a little bit cheaper. So, I bought... I bought another uh, Power Rails neck pickup directly from their website to match with another, I think the set, it's in my Kelly Star back there. Um, and then I bought some covered Screamers, which I liked a lot, and a set of Seven String Crusaders, which I liked a lot too, again, directly from their website. Then I bought a set of Neo Hex Rails. Again, directly from their website. Now, with these pickups, there was a lot of squeal, and I tried to problem solve. Um, I checked my pickup height, um, double checked my wiring just to make sure I had the wiring correct, um, checked the wiring in the guitar just to make sure there wasn't any grounding issues somewhere. Finally, I replaced, I took the Neo Hex rails out and put in another set of pickups and it, the squealing was gone. It wasn't an issue. So it had to be the pickups. And I took a cell phone video of that and I will show you that very shortly so you can see what kind of squealing I was dealing with. I took a video of that so that I could contact Dragonfire Pickups and tell them like, I'm returning these pickups and this is why. Alright, here's the guitar with the Neo Hex rails in it. Uh, I'm going to play to my PV6505. The gain's at 6, so it's not really that high. Low's at 4, mid's at 4, high's at 7, resonance at 4, and presence at 6. So let's play a couple riffs and I'll show you that squealing. Now I'm going to change the neck to the neck pickup. And they were okay with that. And so I returned them. They there was no um, there was no like conditions to returning. They didn't. Um, they just said return it with the original packaging and all that stuff, which I did. I kept all the original packaging. The pickups were in good shape. Everything was fine. Um, again, there was no conditions like okay, you're only going to get store credit or we're going to take ten percent off. Like no conditions for returns. Um, I would have been just fine with credit, by the way, and I would have been just fine if they said, you know, send these back and we'll send you another set. Maybe it was just a bad set. Like, nothing. There was no, they just accepted the return. I thought, well, that was nice of them. But then, guess what? I got blocked from buying from their website because I tried to buy a set of covered screamers, which I was happy with the last set. So I was like, well, I'll just buy what's good from them, and I couldn't. So let me show you what their return policy is because you might be wondering, well, what's their return policy? So 
I actually, I have it on my phone here. I took a couple of screenshots and I'll share those with you too. So there's, there's a lot. Their, their return policy is pretty long here. What I'm going to do is just read the highlighted part for you. We are happy to process a return of items eligible for return in accordance with our return policy so long as product is not installed, used, or modified in any way and all protective covering is intact. Okay, so let's stop right there. Why would you just, why would you buy something, not open it, not install it, and just return it? So that seems kind of weird. Like, th that return policy seems extremely limiting. Okay, I'm going to go on. We may offer exchanges or replacement parts on an extremely limited basis at our sole discretion. Okay, so that's fine. Obviously, they thought that this was worthy of a return. We may decline to accept additional orders after a return to allow time for investigation and return processing. Okay, fair enough. How long does that take, though? Because I did email Dragonfire on April 16th after I realized I couldn't buy off their website and they haven't gotten back to me in today's May 15th. So if that's their policy, how long does it take to investigate to run their investigation. Okay, there's more, let me go on. Most problems experienced are simply due to product incompatibility, so please read item descriptions carefully and ask any questions prior to purchase. Do not purchase if you do not agree to these terms. Now those last two lines are in all capitals. Okay, so I could understand, I'm, I'm guessing that this is a small company or maybe it's just a one person business. Um, and I could understand if they didn't want to accept returns because sometimes people do dumbass things with stuff, you know, in this case, guitar pickups. Um, and not everybody knows how to wire pickups correctly. And some people, I don't know why, but they would cut off more wire than they need to or the pickups might come scra back scratch or something. I get it. I get it. And I, so I actually, I agree with their... Um, their process of investigating, like, that's cool. And if they, like, want to block someone for a week or two while they check out their return and make sure everything's okay, I think that's fine. My question is that, okay, it's been a month and I haven't heard anything. Um, so am I just permanently banned? And I also emailed them through eBay on April 21st and I haven't heard back from them through eBay. They don't have a phone number I can call, otherwise I would do that. Um, so, so right now, I guess where I'm standing is, I cannot recommend this company in good faith because you could get, no, no, no company's quality control is 100%. Okay, Seymour Duncan, DiMarzio, EMG, no one's quality control is 100%. There's a chance you could get a bad set of pickups and then what? You can't return them, or if you can, you're blocked. I just feel like that's a bad policy, and um, I can't recommend buying these pickups anymore because then I'm recommending that you give your money to a company that doesn't have very good customer service, and if you end up in a position like myself, then I would feel bad about that. So Dragonfire pickups, I like the Covered Screamers. I like the Seven String Crusaders. Those were good sets of pickups, but their customer service isn't good and I feel like they could they could make things better. And they have a pretty good they have some good products and they have some other products that maybe the quality control just isn't there. But anyway, I feel like uh their policy they uh need to actually act on what they're saying their policy is. Okay? If you have any comments or questions, please leave comments or questions below. I would I would love to have my mind changed on this, and um, if someone from Dragonfire watches this, please contact me. I will be happy to take this down once you uh, actually stick to what your policy is. Thanks for watching.